Hello everybody and in today's video I couldn't wait till next week so I had to do another video and today I'm going to be restoring all of this coloured hair and damaged hair mm -hmm. for shoulder length hair I'm going to be restoring this poodle bump right here I have a box of goodies. I have a box of goodies to show you guys. So, if you've noticed that in some times I have blemishes and uh, I've been using this product right here. This product right here is clearing up all my little spots and blemishes on my face as you can see here as well it's going away so if you if you want something that is hydrating for your face and has the hydra acid the hydraulic acid inside the product then i should recommend you this I sincerely recommend this product to you. Okay, so because this is a hair tutorial, I'm gonna mostly focus on hair today. So even though, well, I could show you what I got anyway. Like, I can show you what I got for my makeup stuff because it's a product review as well. So why not? So, I've got a mixture of different brands. So this one here is the Revlon uh, All-in-One Volume Mascara. And it is also waterproof. So when you go to the beach and it rains constantly in England, so this is very good. And if you want to cry and sob, <laughs> then you have this. My next product is the Rimmel London uh, setting spray, two-in-one primer and setting spray. I don't really use primer too much, but I've started using the setting spray because I find it makes my makeup last a lot longer with this. So yeah, that's what I use and I have as well as this that you put on you can put this on before your moisturizer or you can replace this with your moisturizer i tend to still use astral cream what i've showed you in the previous videos i still use that because it's very good for your skin and it's a good makeup remover too so i use that um but you can top it up with this too so following on from the l'oreal um Hydrogenous aloe water. I also have this one which is got hydraulic acid as well, which is the true match foundation that I love because it doesn't irritate my skin and it's perfect for dry and kind of lifeless skin. You want to plump it up and make it, you know, nice and that's it for my makeup stuff. Moving on to the actual video that I'm actually filming, which is the hair video. So, <laughs> hmm, what am I gonna show first? Hmm. I did some browsing, right? I did some online shopping and I browsed through the whole entire store. And I found these amazing products these amazing 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 hair products they're beautiful and they're both plant-based so no animal kind of 
style ingredients or nothing like that. Not tested on animals, not based on any animal kind of things like, I don't know, gelatin or whatever the case may be. But it says all plant based, all vegan, vegan formulas, people. So, and there's no silicon either in either of these, no silicon at all in these products. So, I'm going to run through the first one. The first one is Nature Box. This one is the pomegranate for coloured hair. As you can see, my hair is the red shades, but it's also fading. So this is for coloured hair, and it's a decent amount in the bottle. You know, this, it's a decent amount that you get, and it's nice as a travel travel size as well because it's not too big and it's not too small. It's just right, it will last you quite a long time. Because I, if you see in the back here, I have the head and shoulders. I have the head and shoulders uh, shampoo, which guys, if you're looking to color your hair, don't use head and shoulders, I repeat, don't use head and shoulders to wash the colour out after you dye it because it's going to end up faded at the bottom, you're going to get problems. So I wouldn't recommend this, throw it away, don't use it, don't use it. But yeah, so this one is amazing, it's amazing, well it looks amazing so I'm going to try it, I'm going to test it, it's the first time we're using this so I'm going to test it. Vegan based. No silicon, um, and it's exactly four coloured hair, which I'm about to do. And this one, Garnier uh, Hair Food. This one is the banana one, and it smells amazing. Oh my god, <sighs> smells amazing! And I can't wait to put this on my hair. It's Again, non, no silicon in there, nothing. It's all vegan based, natural ingredients. About up to 98% natural ingredients in this bottle. And again, you can see the proportion size. It is very good for your money. And I think it was three pounds. Yeah, I think it was three pounds. Well worth it for three pounds. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys. And it's a three in one hair mask and this is for dry hair. So once you finish coloring your hair and you are happy with the result, then you can go ahead and apply this. Wait a while, wash it out. And you're gonna be smooth as a baby's bottom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and last but not least, which is the main part of this whole video, is this Clairol Nice and Easy Hair Dye in Dark Auburn. Mm -hmm. In Dark Auburn. Because the reason why I decided to go a dark auburn is mainly because this was very red, like this was a cherry type red, right? <laughs> My travel um, shampoo is head and shoulders. Again, guys, if you're, if you're coloring your hair, don't use head and shoulders, it's not it's not good for you. It's gonna fuck up your hair. It's, trust me, it's not. It's not the one you're gonna. This is not gonna be long lasting. The color. So the reason why I decided to go dark auburn is because I still want to keep the fantastic fiery red flavor in my hair, but at the same time. I want to go a bit natural so that it doesn't fade. Even with this shampoo that I'm going to use today, 
um, I'm hoping that it doesn't fade. So, yeah, that's a, a tip for you to remember. Do not use head and shoulders. By the way, if you want to have your hair smoother, softer at the ends too, I would recommend, um, whilst coloring your hair, I recommend using um, either this hair mask, what I showed you before, um, the Garnier one, or um, I would recommend using the conditioner they give you in the bottle because, yeah, uh, it will make it nice and smooth and shiny and nice. Okay, now I look super weird with this UFO looking thing. So what I've done, I've put the color in now and I've literally put the cling film on my head to let the heat trap in so the color can set and it can strip away the old color leaving a nice a shiny open shade so people <laughs> it's looking really dark right now um, But I guess we'll have to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, now it looks jet black, but you can see the light bit of auburn there. But we shall see when I dry it and style it. <laughs> I have a beard. <laughs> oh my god. So this is how the colour came out. It looks more like a brown than open, but we shall see. We shall see once I style my hair and apply my makeup. So I'll be right back. So this is how it came out and I feel happy because it came out well. I don't know what you guys think, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about it. I personally like it, but you know, let me know. And yeah, and if you want the product names and all that, links, like I said, down below and I shall see you all in the next video.